looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves Are we gonna sink like Titanic? Our problems feel gigantic Like falling apart into a cold, cold ocean Are we gonna run like we're strangers At the first sight of danger I'll still be hanging on
Oh, good morning. What a morning. Uh, but we are here at Aladala. A uh, bit of a dilemma yesterday. We're upon Tan's dog, sorry, for the store there. I have to think because I'm, yeah, mentally a bit off, you could say. But yesterday, when we were at my son's, which you'll have seen the video of, of that particular place, which is quite, quite big, a lot of land. And Luna decides to go missing in the morning and the morning we were leaving. And we would have been on the road, you know, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, but hmm, we couldn't find her. And we kind of spent, I guess two hours was wasted looking for her, whereupon she was just in the next door's farm, uh, hiding in a shed. And as much as we were calling her, she wouldn't, she wouldn't come out so it ultimately you know we realized that something had frightened her there was a hot fence there that could have zapped her and she was just too terrified to yeah make a move and come on out so uh, yeah what did we do well by the time we found her she was absolutely covered in cow manure so she ended up having to be hosed down and yeah pretty much cleaned up and dried and everything before we hit the road so once we kind of got going we of course had to have a few stops along the way because of the the dogs of course needing some water and to go to the toilet and so forth so we did not get here until I don't know, 7.30ish, I think it was, roughly, but anyway, it was dark, and I think I've been driving for about an hour or so in the dark, which, <coughs> yeah, by that time of the day when you've sort of been going all day, you're kind of pushing yourself mentally to keep going, but anyway, we got here safe and sound set up, got organised for the night to literally just didn't eat nothing, I was just too exhausted and I think Tam was as well by that stage so we decided to just go to bed, but I'll show you where we're staying so we are right next to the pool here with running water you could say and yeah quite a it's not very big but it's I mean pretty much got everything the only issue is right now we are right at the back end of course because we have dogs too I guess and we wanted an ensuite uh, yeah we're kind of where we're at so busy road but yeah children's castle playground the pool area there are some plunge pools here that I don't know if they're warm or whether they're cold huh I am presuming the pool area might be open at this particular stage, but a fabulous ride for the kids, well, and no doubt adults as well could have a lot of fun. It doesn't go into a uh, open from nine till uh, here I am pushing the gate the wrong way, of course, but uh, doesn't go into the pool itself, which I guess is a, a good thing. Um, and people are flying down and hitting people. 
it um, yeah it comes down to here hmm of course they're not going I'm guessing yeah it's a bit chilly this time of the year to be going on the slides but the pool looks looks pretty good and the plunge pools are cold so I will not be hopping into a plunge pool I'm a Queenslander so I'm definitely not hopping into a cold plunge pool the pool with the sun on it would probably be warmer than the plunge pool I'm thinking but yeah summer oh that would look very inviting I think and of course my dog is barking because he can see me but they're not allowed in this area understandably right what else have we got my own castle with a play gym at the back for the kids uh, and then the normal kind of uh, holiday park environment that you would have as in outdoor barbecues and some sort of buckety thing here I was looking at it earlier and thinking is it a basketball hoop but then how do you get the balls out no so I'm not really can you find all the treasure okay that's interesting treasure key whoa I'll be back in a second my goodness we're right opposite a toilet block and a shower block which is great but when you get a bit older having the convenience of an ensuite and it really wasn't expensive to have the ensuite so and this is kind of in the dark shadows but camp kitchen which you know we could use certainly to to heat things up rather than pulling out my little gas stove Ooh. so there's one area there and another area over here which is fantastic boil a kettle make a cuppa mm, cook a meal two stoves two stoves two sinks so four families right could easily fit in here you can watch a bit of TV yeah brilliant nice and clean everything is fresh and clean which is what you really want um, especially when you've been traveling all day and you're exhausted and oh I don't want to talk about it that was not pleasant uh, not Tan's fault that her dog got out <laughs> not her fault at all well her dog went missing but certainly um, made the day long yesterday okay kids can come in here and do what they would like to do play games ping pong hmm good little setup actually for the kids so I can't see ping pong balls because I'd play myself maybe I have to ask for them up at the desk but yeah at least there's something for the kids to do while they're actually here give mum and dad a break though I'm sure everything costs of course hmm not like you don't spend enough on your holiday now but fake glass area guess where you could throw the ball do what you like as you can hear the busy highway over there but there is a fire pit so 
yeah you could grab some wood come and sit here and light a fire in the evening which hmm fire pit can be used during the hours of 4 to 10 that's pretty perfect and the gym is open oh there's a gym now no I'm not a Jimmy sort of a, a person but anyway yeah not that I think that you can see in there because of the reflection but yeah there's a bike and there's weights and there's all sorts in there so if you're wanting to keep fit they've got that available and of course there's more amenities up there um, for people I do believe there's cabins at the back which is where I might ship tan off to and say go to a cabin because uh, her mattress kind of deflated a bit uh, of course the ground is cold and it comes up through even though uh, you know do barriers as much as you can Luna of course escaped at three o'clock in the morning so Tan is out here running around looking for her dog again hmm and I've got nothing more to say about that so I'm just waiting for the office to open once the office is open because we got in so late I didn't get to register or say I was here you could say uh, and I shall do that this morning and then we're going to head to a beach with the dogs hopefully got to find a beach that allows dogs at least on lead so that means driving the van setting up the van you know all that wonderful stuff that you do when you're on the road so yeah apart from the noisy highway which really doesn't bother me because my van is quite soundproof doesn't mean I I can't hear it I can but most of all like yeah doesn't really bother me at all I have my fan going all night just for that that noise that you can get oh, I can't sleep without some sound so till we get to the beach I'll call it a do a day for now <laughs> 